YouTube. Welcome back. Player Props of On here. Back on YouTube. Giving you guys some more free plays for the weekend. Um, deciding to give you guys two today. Because um, I probably won't be able to post one tomorrow. Uh, I mean, let's be real. It's Saturday. I'm probably going to be having a few beverages and all the games start super early for baseball tomorrow. So, And I think basketball's at noon too. So, I mean, there's no way I'll get... Um, a video out tomorrow so we'll drop two free plays today um, we'll go like our normal um, routine here and let you guys know how we did yesterday a uh, much better day um, like I said I always like to give a bounce back day I hate when we just start compiling losses um, or losing days so for props um, we did cash our free play with Zach Wheeler over six and a half K's he ended up with eight K's through seven innings got to that seven inning mark that we talked about in the video and we cashed it really big i think they end up still losing but i mean he's throwing the ball extremely extremely well this year so that was nice that was 1.5 units uh, i had um matt shoemaker under three and a half strikeouts against the royals he had one in eight or one out he recorded one out so that one cashed um and then we had jacob fleming over three and a half k's um that one lost minus 130 um so we got a profit on that um, Fleming threw really well yesterday. I think he ended up giving up a four-run spot to the Rangers, but he did end up going seven innings, and he gave his team a chance to win. So I thought if we got him that many innings, we would be able to get the at least four Ks. I think he ended up with two. Um, so it sucked there. Um, for straight bats, we went four and two. I won't go through all those because you guys just probably care about the props. Um, so we went four and two on those, and then hit our second free play, um, which is on Twitter, um, which was Tim Hardaway over 17 and a half points. Um, that was 1.25. We lost our big one in Paul George over 24 points. Uh, Kawhi decided to do it all himself. I should have taken points, rebounds, assists, because Paul George ended up with like 13 rebounds. So um, that sucked, but we did cash Luca on our last second rebound over seven and a half rebounds. Um, kind of crazy in, v in our VIP chat. I was literally saying, don't, you can't, Take the Luka points today, because I took Luka points before every time. Tyron Luka would lose a job if they didn't double team him, right? So I, I ended up taking the rebounds prop, um, and we ended up getting that one. So on to today, beautiful day, June 5th, like 90 degrees out in Wisconsin, up early this morning. Uh, obviously, I'm wearing this. Try I'm going to the gym in a little bit. Got my pre-workout ready. We've been up for a while, getting in the lab, getting ready for you guys today. And here they are. We got two plays, one MLB, one NBA. Let's do it. I love it. I love both of these plays, but one of them's gonna be sweaty. I promise you it will be sweaty. So first we're gonna start out with my boy for the Bucks, Chris Middleton, over 32 and a half points, rebounds, assists. I have it at minus 132, a little more juicy than I like, but minus 132 at Bet Rivers. I'm gonna be putting 1.5 units on this one. I usually don't tell you guys the units because I just like do them ones on these, but I'm telling you right now, 1.5. Uh, Middleton in three games against the Nets this year, 24.7 points, 7.3 rebounds, 4.7 assists. That gets us around 35, 36 uh, points, rebounds, assists, and that's in the average of three games. Uh, during the playoffs, he's at 24% usage rate, second on the team to Giannis at 30, and then Drew Holiday coming in third at around 19%. Um, but a lot of blowouts in that first round. But he did average 21 and a half, 6.8 rebounds, 4.3 um, assists against the Heat, and that was only in 34 minutes. The one thing I do like um, with the Bucks finishing early in a sweep is he got some rest, right? Without Dante, I feel like with Bud here, his rotation is going to get cut now, a man, because usually Connaughton's a guy to come in. But now they're going to probably bring in Forbes a little bit earlier in this rotation. But I really don't know how much they're going to play T. I, I think this is going to be an eight-man rotation, and the Bucks usually are a really deep team. Without Dante, Connaughton's in the starting lineup, and Forbes will be off the bench. Um, Bobby Portis is our big guy, so he's going to be coming in for probably our Giannis or um, Brooke Lopez. And then you got P.J. Tucker, who would be in for Giannis or um, Middleton. But I really don't know, looking at their lineup and watching as many games as I have as a Bucks fan, I don't know really who's going to replace Middleton when he comes out. I mean, he might get like a two or three minute spell, but I really think that they're going to run him and Drew 
probably close to 40 minutes today. Um, Giannis, it, it kind of depends with Giannis because Giannis, it really depends on that first five or six minutes of the game. Because we have a rotation where Giannis will go five minutes and then he'll come out and then those two go at it and then they'll rotate one. So they try to keep at least two of them on the court at all times um, with the big three, Holiday, Middleton, and Giannis. So they have a chance, right? They have a chance here against the Nets. It's a beautiful, beautiful total. 117 and a half team total for the Bucks. I really don't know how Middleton doesn't touch 38 to 40 minutes here. Um, especially with a four point spread and that long layoff, I don't think in this situation that layoff's gonna mean too much. Because when you're going up against the Nets and they're superstars on both sides, it's it's gonna be a clash. I really like this spot. I really like seeing Middleton pull up from three, and I love that he fills up the stat sheet. I could see at least 13 points or 13 rebounds assists in this game, which means you just gotta get me to 19 points for me to cash this one. I really love Middleton. 1.5 units. Like I said, I usually don't do that on here. Um, but this will be 1.5 unit play here. And I love it. Love Middleton tonight. Go Bucks. Um, and let's get to the sweat one. All right. So you heard in my recap, we cashed Matt Shoemaker um, under three and a half strikeouts uh, on VIP yesterday. And I'm going back to an under strikeout prop. I usually don't do these. Um, but I've been doing pretty well this year on the unders because I don't do them very much So they really have to stick out to me and we're trying to go four and one on YouTube for our MLB props Let's get it. All right. We're going to Buffalo, New York for the Toronto Blue Jays Ross Stripling under three and a half strikeouts minus 115 I'm on bet rivers again here terrible matchup terrible 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 matchup Astros strike out the least in the MLB um, I understand Stripling's strikeout numbers are actually decent, but this is where it comes into it. He's around 23% strikeout rate, which isn't bad. But if you dig in, which I was digging in, like I said, all morning trying to find this for you, the three times he's hit this this year, he's hit it by four strikeouts, four strikeouts, and six strikeouts. So what that means is he had a nine strikeout game, a seven strikeout game, and a seven strikeout game. Uh, why did that happen? He was going against the Braves, Braves, and Tampa. That's the, the worst strikeout team, the third or the seventh, seventh strikeout, and seventh strikeout team. So you're going up against teams that strike out a lot, and that boosted those numbers up a ton. Other than that, Ross Stripling has not been striking out, guys. Especially when he played the Astros the first time. The Astros make your pitchers work. I don't know if you guys watched the Dodgers game when they played Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer had a 40 pitch first inning. 40 pitches. These guys work, they put the ball in play, and they make you make the make the adjustments, and they make you make the plays. So I love this spot for them, um, especially with the reverse splits that Ross Stripling has at home. Ross Stripling at home has a 371 batting average against to right-handed batters. Why is that important? The best hitters, besides Jordan Alvarez, the best hitters on the Astros are all righties. You got your Altuve's. You got Correa, you got Gurriel. All those guys are, are gonna go against a guy with a reverse split because he's a fastball curveball guy. His slider is kind of weak. It's kind of like a spinner and really slow. I really like this spot because if you're gonna look at the numbers and the reverse splits are gonna be that big and you're gonna know that this, um, they're not gonna play lefties just because a righty's pitching. They're gonna play their dudes. Their best hitters are all righties and their highest strikeout rate guy, Maldonado's a righty. So like, we got a chance here to have like a very low strikeout day um, here for the Astros. I really just think that the numbers are inflated and gives Vegas probably when you look at it, yes, with a guy with a 24% strikeout rate, he's been going five innings in games. I mean, his last game he went five innings against Indians, got three strikeouts. But now you give me this matchup at home against a bunch of righties where his splits are not very good. I, I really have a hard time seeing Stripling going deep in this game. I'd be surprised to see him go past four innings. Astros will make you work. Hopefully they can just get him out of there in the first. Like they got Shoemaker out last night for the like, uh, the Royals got them for me. Nice, really sweat free under. So we are taking an under um, and we will just do a recap of those two plays. And we're going for, what is that? We had two last time. We're three and one in our last four. 
Let's go for five and one. Nice little sweep here. We are going with Ross Stripling under three and a half strikeouts, minus 115, and a 1.5 unit play on Chris Middleton, points, rebounds, assists, over 32 and a half, minus 132 at Bet Rivers as well. We are going to get a nice little sweep. We're trying to get after it again. Let's go for five and one in our last four days. Keep cooking on YouTube. Drop a like if you're tailing. We're close to 100 subscribers. Subscribe if you have it. We're gonna keep cashing tickets for you. And let's go Bucks.